In November 2006, a painting by Willem de Kooning sold for $136 million, and it's called Woman 3. Now, objectively, this is an ugly looking thing, but it's art, and the whole point is it's subjective, and some people will love it, and some people will hate it. Cars can have the same kind of effect. Today, we review the BMW X6. Now I won't go too much into looks because that would defeat the whole purpose of my forced analogy just there, but I will say this color is fantastic. It's called Riverside Metallic Blue and that massive grille at the front lights up in the dark if you so choose. So the boot on the X6, it is 580 liters with the seats up. You also get this foldable parcel shelf that should slide out. Oh yeah, simples. You have a floor that's on a Nice handy little strut. Can hide this away. Pop the floor back down. There's also two levers either side to drop the back seats down. And that's done automatically. So now you have 1,530 liters of space. It's actually pretty practical. The only thing I will say is the slope and roof obviously affects your practicality. And it's an electric tailgate. Ow, bang my head. So back here is actually very good legroom. Behind myself at six foot is really good. Headroom is actually better than I thought it would be. I thought the sloping roof would eat into it, but unless you're maybe, I don't know, six, two or three, you should be fine back here. You also get your center armrest with a little storage tray and some cup holders climate control and this one is also fitted with heated seats in the front and in the back so a nice little feature maybe one thing I will point out is it is quite dark back here that's thanks to tinted windows and obviously sort of smaller windows than you might get in a more traditional SUV and if you're small you'll be sitting even lower and all this darkness is just around you so if you're car sick or that it might be worth keeping in mind. Also, this is fitted with a lot of extras, this X6, and these seats cost five grand more for your Italian Merino leather. Right, so up front in the X6, and the first thing I wanna show you is the key, which is a weird starting point, but it's worth it, I swear. See, it's sort of a tablet-y type thing, and you get a screen, you can control the height, and get different bits of information, like the range and stuff. Like, it looks cool, but it's a bit, cumbersome and comes in this leather pouch i don't know it's up to you if you like it or not right so where do we start it is a proper tech fest up here you can control the infotainment four different ways you can touch the scrolly thing down here you can touch the screen you can gesture control and you have voice command so pick your poison really i wonder if you could do all four at once hey bmw also down here, you can adjust the suspension five different ways. So five, obviously the highest and one the lowest. Everything in here is so well built and there is great craftsmanship gone into it. You can see that. But an X6 30D M Sport starts at 96,000 euro. And this press car is fitted with 25,000 euro worth of extras or a Kia seed of extras is the technical term, I believe. So for 3,000 euro, you can get the technology pack, which gives you the fancy key I was showing you earlier, some extra parking assistance to help maneuver this beast. It gives you like 3D views on the reversing camera and actually all around views, obviously. Some Harman Kardon speakers, and you also get a drive recorder option to record the driving in front of you. This car is also fitted with the Comfort package, which for 3,500 euro will get you comfort opening of the car doors. So when you approach it, the car automatically opens. You can also set that up on your smartphone. So you just have to have your phone on you. And when you, you hover it over the handle, the car opens, you pop it down here and you can still start the car with your smartphone, which is handy, I suppose. You also get these endlessly adjustable electric seats and actually when you hover your hand over the adjustments it appears on the screen in front of you just to show you what you're doing with your endless adjustments. You also get heated seats in the front and in the back as I was saying earlier but most impressively of all 
the two cup holders up front you can either heat or cool both cups in the front so you can have your can of diet coke or your coffee and one will be hot and one will be cold just don't get it wrong Another highlight up here is the leather instrument panel, which will cost you 2,000 euro, and the carbon fiber costs around 1,500, I think, as well. It's expensive, but do you know what? It's a glorious experience up here. Right, so driving the X6 M Sport 30D. As you may have worked out from the name, this is a three liter, six cylinder turbo diesel. You get 265 horsepower, 620 newton meters of torque, which is available from 2000 RPM, a 0 to 100 kilometer time of 6.5 seconds, and a top speed of 230 kilometers an hour. All that is driven through an eight speed automatic gearbox and the quoted fuel economy figures from BMW are kind of between six and seven liters per 100 kilometers. I would say from our week with the car, you're probably looking more towards the sevens. You also get BMW's four wheel drive X drive system, but that is rear bias and it really does show on this car. This beefy, husky, big boned chunk monster gets down the road with so much better agility than it has any right to. If you've ever seen uh, Sean Cronin, the Irish rugby player, go on a mazy run, it's that kind of feel. It's surprising, but very fun. Now, you don't get a huge amount of feel through the steering, but you can place it where you want and you have a rough idea where the front end is. The real star here is that engine. My God, it's good. We're gonna miss diesel when it's gone, I can tell you that much. Especially in this format. BMW have a real star on their show with this engine. It's got buckets of torque, it's economical on a run, and it can go ballistic if you want it to. Now, because this is the M Sport, it also has an M Sport exhaust system, and it actually sounds pretty good. And not pretty good for a diesel, just pretty good. I, I'm not sure if the cameras will pick it up, but I'll try it here. You also have a couple of different modes, like Sport Mode, Comfort Mode, and Eco Pro. So Sport Mode is where you get the nice exhaust, the sharpened throttle response, and response from the gearbox. Comfort is I suppose pretty obvious and then Eco Pro is where you want to get your extra economy out of it. Another strong point of the X6 is covering motorway miles. Honestly, I think you could do hundreds if not thousands of miles on this with that lovely smooth gearbox, that really strong engine. Just sit there happy out in plush loveliness. If you'd like to search for a BMW X6 on Cars Ireland, please do click on the link above. Now, not to dwell on optional extras again, but this car is also fitted with a, an optional, three and a half grand option, I might add, of sort of autonomous light driving. So you get like active cruise control, lane keep assist. It will maneuver the steering wheel if it feels like you might be in a collision. It will apply the brakes, which is all very handy in a car this big. Also, seeing out the back is almost impossible thanks to that tiny little slanted back window but all that helps even if you're paying for it so how to conclude the x6 well the logical side of my brain struggles to see why you wouldn't just buy a 530d touring with four-wheel drive and have probably more practicality and it would be a lot cheaper but that's not gonna stir a whole lot of opinion or debate. BMW's own website says that the X6 polarizes and provokes. So it stirs opinion and stirs emotion in people. And maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's the whole point of this car. To quote a great artist called Groove Armada, if everybody looked the same, we'd get tired of looking at each other. Please do like and subscribe. It's uh, always greatly appreciated. And hopefully we'll be back next week with another car. Thank you, bye bye.